Hi, my name's Marie and I'm the Deputy Manager of the Small Animal Department at Wood Green Animal Shelters in Cambridgeshire. I'm going to advise you how to care for guinea pigs. I'm going to tell you how to make guinea pig food. The diet of the guinea pig should be kept as natural as possible. Avoid all these different types of colourants and salt licks and mineral blocks. Keep the food as natural and fresh from your garden as possible. The most important part of a guinea pig's diet is hay and this should be really good quality green fresh meadow hay. Around 80% of their diet should be made up of hay and different types of grasses. Your guinea pigs should be allowed to go out in the grass for at least four to six hours every day, obviously weather permitting. They should be free to graze on all different types of grass in your garden and they'll also find different weeds in there such as plantain and mallow. These are all healthy and this is the best part of the diet. A great idea is to be able to grow your own food for your guinea pigs. So in your garden you could be growing different types of carrots, turnips and even your roses um, and raspberries as well. Raspberries, blackberry leaves and strawberry leaves are fantastic for the digestive system. So if they've ever got an upset diet, just boost their diet with hay and a few selection of leaves from your blackberry or raspberry bush and that will really help settle their digestive system down. Another good one is your wild geranium that often most people have in the garden, not to be mistaken for the common house geranium. Wild geranium, guinea pigs absolutely love it and it really encourages them to start eating again if maybe they've gone off their food. So you can also grow different types of cabbages, curly kale um, and mint, lemon balm and lavender, all different types of herbs. When you're providing the guinea pigs the food, be interesting about it. Scatter it around in their accommodation, in their run or in their hutch. You could even make things such as hay kebabs as well. These are simply made from toilet rolls and you can use any fruit trees in your garden. So if you've got any apple, pear, cherry or, or even willow, you can pop some twigs in there, pop some really good quality hay and then you could put any of your herbs and vegetables that you've grown in the garden, just stuff them in there and that's really great fun for a guinea pig to be able to roll around and nibble the different foods out of there. So as I mentioned, the diet should be healthy and it should be as natural as possible. Lots and lots of hay, lots of grass and plants and herbs from your garden. And that's how to make guinea pig food.